Oh, good. I got sweat on my glasses. This, by the way, is the number one reason I hate sweating. It drips on my glasses. It could drip down, but my glasses actually have their own gravitational field directly related to sweat. So if I'm sweating and it's dripping, it's going to get on my glasses. I could be hanging upside down and the sweat from my hair will drip onto my glasses. I don't know how it works. It's just the laws of the universe. It's like your toast is going to land butter side down or a cat will always land on its feet. Sweat will always land on my glasses. It's just the way it is. It's part of life. It sucks, but it's why I hate getting sweaty. But you know what? Part of being an adult, an adult who wants to actually succeed in life is doing things you don't like to do sometimes, doing things you don't want to do sometimes. I don't want to get sweaty. I don't like getting sweaty. I don't like when sweat drips on my glasses. Yes, I can clean my glasses and I'm going to. Yeah, sometimes you have to eat vegetables. Sometimes you have to go to the doctor. Sometimes you have to eat right. Um, sometimes you have to go to work when you don't exactly feel like it or you're not motivated to. It's part of being an adult. And being an adult requires sucking it up, doing the things that you don't want to do so you can actually do the things you do want to do. Whether or not you want to work, if you want to eat, you have to work. If you want to eat, you have to work out. Getting sweaty, getting out of breath now means that I can eat just a little bit more food and lose this bit here. I mean, I'm, I'm working on it. This is the first time I've really, really broken a sweat um, in a while. Not since I started. I was doing it on, especially on the leg days when I first, first started uh, because of all the humidity partially. But, you know, it's been, I've not been getting my heart rate up as high. Um, and that's one of the reasons I'm not losing weight. Uh, is because cardio. Yeah, also my shitty diet. But I can afford to eat slightly worse um, when I break a sweat, when I get my heart rate up. And I hate doing it now. Well, I hate doing it while it's happening. I hate dripping sweat. Um, but as a result of doing that, you know, I, I improved my health just a little bit today. So it's the little tiny investments, the little sacrifices now they are going to pay off in the long run because it means that I may have extended my life. Um, even if it's just double the, the length of time that I spent working out. Um, and I have no idea, like I'm not, this is not science. This is not medical advice. I mean, it says that, that scroller on the bottom of the screen, it says, I am not an expert. Um, always consult with a professional, follow along at your own risk. But let's say that I work out half hour every day. If that increases my life by double the time that I'm working out and I do that um, every single day for a year, it's not 300 days, but let's see, 52 times five is 250, give or take, 50 times five. So 125 hours. I work out for a year, maybe I've added an extra week on the end of my life in my 90s. An extra week that I get with my wife, my kids, my uh, my grandkids, maybe my great grandkids if I live that long. It's the little investments now that are gonna pay dividends in the future. And I don't know for sure that that's how it works, but you know what? Spending 30, 45 minutes doing this in the morning, even though I hate getting sweaty, goes back to what I've said in many, many streams before. I hate doing it while I'm doing it, but I feel very, very accomplished throughout the rest of the day on the days that I work out. And the days that I don't work out, I don't feel as accomplished. Getting up and lifting first thing in the morning gives me the, uh, the sense of accomplishment and therefore the motivation to accomplish more throughout the day. And it's not that I don't accomplish the same outside of my workouts on days that I don't lift. It's that it is a harder mental task, a harder psychological, emotional, whatever you want to say it is. And I know those are all different things, but it could be any one of those. Um, it is a harder task to get motivated. It takes more mental labor to, uh, to move forward. Doing the physical workout in the morning gives me momentum. 
So even if it doesn't pay dividends in the long term for my physical health, which it absolutely will, um, it pays dividends in the immediate term, um, making it easier to be more effective at my job. I have mental clarity. So if something happens and there's some sort of emergency that I have to jump into, I am less likely to panic. And I'm, I don't remember the last time I panicked about anything. And that's just because that, I mean, that's the nature of, of my personality more than anything else. But I am less likely to get into fight or flight mode because I've, I have the clarity of mind to be able to just do the thing because I've metabolized any stress that I had left over from the previous day. When you exercise, it metabolizes stress. It gets it out of your system. And stress does have physical effects on your body. When you metabolize that, though, then you don't have to deal with it. I mean, you, de you deal with it by metabolizing it. You don't have to carry it with you. You're carrying those heavy things there. You're picking them up, putting them back down on repeat, and, uh, and you're getting the stress out of your system. And it, it will help. It'll help in the short term. It'll help in the long term. It's a very roundabout way of saying you can do more than you think. This segment was part of my daily lifting streams over on my Nix the Fat Rumble channel. I stream myself lifting every weekday around 8.15 a.m. Eastern Time as I attempt to master my dad bod. If you want to join the conversation live, head over to Rumble and follow me. Let's motivate each other to improve our lives a little more each day. You can do more than you think.